Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales, and welcome to a channel review video for 2014. So basically, in this video, I will be going over some of the things which have gone on on my channel this year, and also some of the things which have happened in my personal life, which you may or may not know about. So without further ado, let's begin and look back at the year. And I've actually wrote down some notes on my little notepad here of some of the things to remind myself you know, what, what I've done, because I've done quite a lot this year. It's, it's been surprising. Uh, first of all, I have to say thank you very much to everybody that's followed my channel. This year, I think we started the year off on something like 230 subscribers. And right now, as the point of, at the point of recording this video, I'm on 738 subscribers. So it's, it's been a fantastic kind of effort by everybody subscribing to my channel and watching my videos and supporting my channel. Because that's the ultimate kind of enjoyment that I get out of it. People that uh, enjoy my videos, and I, you know, I enjoy making them. And... I'm going to touch on that a little bit later on in this video, but yeah, you know, thank you so much, and it's just been phenomenal growth. I've grown, like I said, you know, about 500 subscribers I've gained. It's it's been, it's been you know quite, quite great. It's been really fulfilling, and you know, I think one of the reasons why, or one of the first reasons why that has happened, is because of the Aravaki campaign, which I actually uploaded in I think it was March. Was it March or April? Basically, it was when the Hannibal at the Gates DLC was released, and I decided I was going to play as the Aravaki tribe because they are a tribe which were not really represented on the kind of YouTube uh, community. Most people were going to play as Carthage, Rome, Syracuse, or the Lusitani. So I thought I'll go with the Aravaki because they haven't really been represented. Oh, sorry, represented. <coughs> pardon me, on the on the um, campaign, and I, I was actually one of the first people to record the Aravaki which was phenomenal if you type in Aravaki or Aravaki campaign my a few of my videos actually appear on the first page of the search results so it's fantastic and lots of people subscribed to my channel because of that campaign I think the first episode's got like 2,000 views now which for me you know 2,000 views might not seem like a lot of views to a lot of people but to me it does because like I said I started the year off on 230 odd subscribers so to get that many sub that many views on a video is fantastic Moving on from the Aravaki campaign, I then tried to um, I tried exploring other games. I tried Skyrim and I tried Mountain Blade Warband. Now, Skyrim, it's been a let's play which has been overdone on YouTube. It's completely saturated by people playing Skyrim. I tried it out. I tried some mods. I enjoyed it, but ultimately I thought as something to view on YouTube and as something to play on YouTube, it probably wasn't the best thing to play. So I ultimately decided not to continue pursuing my my let's play in skyrim so i, I finished that after six six episodes which i was happy enough to do um and it's you know something i wanted to feature but as I, like i said you know it's saturated and it just wasn't worth continuing skyrim uh moving on mountain blade warband i tried the clash of kings mod for mountain blade warband it's a very very good mod if you haven't played it definitely play it the game is worth the price on steam just to play that one mod it is that good and if you're a Game of Thrones fan like I am, you know, you're gonna love it. Basically you can do so much. You can you can be a bandit, you can join other factions as a as a knight, as a, as an archer, you know, you can you can be a like I said, a bandit and just run around the countryside killing all killing all the farmers and stuff. It's just it, what you can do is ultimately it's a sandbox and you can do whatever you want to do in that sandbox. It's a fantastic um mod. And I enjoyed making videos for that as well. But again, you know, it takes so long because the thing with Mountain Blade Warband is it takes so long to get to a certain point in the campaign where you're not being beaten all the time because your stats are low and because your army is low that it can take a while to produce videos. So, you know, you have to play, you almost have to play three or four hours just to record like 20 minutes because it's, it's, that, it's that heavy, content heavy. But ultimately I, I enjoyed it and I will be looking to do some more Mountain Blade stuff probably next year 2015 at some point we'll see how it goes but yeah i wouldn't mind doing some more mountain blade in the future i'll probably try and do some more multiplayer mountain blade that's something i haven't done yet and it's something that i've been meaning to do for a long time maybe the napoleonic wars mod i, I think i would enjoy that and i'd also like it if you guys could join in as well we could perhaps make a few videos have a little playlist going on my channel i think i'll be good yeah we, we'll we'll call ourselves the the regiment of dragonheart or something i don't know we'll, we'll think of a name but um yeah mountain blade warband that was one of the things i wanted to mention and then Crusader Kings 2. Crusader Kings 2 is a game which I didn't have a clue what I was doing with, to be honest. I actually learned how to play the game through Lord Rexasaur, who 
I've started doing a podcast with, but we'll get into that later on as well because I don't want to jump ahead of myself in this in this update video. And it's a great game. Watch this tutorials if you don't know how to play because that's what I did. And I basically played through the game a few times first before I knew what I was doing, and that way I was able to kind of find out how to play the game. Make your own mistakes. That's what I should say. Make your own mistakes before you actually get into it because that's the the best thing to to do. Um, ultimately, I played the Game of Thrones. The Game of Thrones mod, and that's a great mod as well. Played as House Baelish, Peter Baelish, of course, you know, the trickster himself, Littlefinger. And yeah, you know, it, it was a good campaign. I enjoyed it. Plenty of people subscribed to my channel because of that campaign. And they actually, some people actually said, I want to see more of this sort of stuff. So that is something I'm going to do next year as well. I was thinking perhaps House Greyjoy or either House Greyjoy or maybe Skagos, something a bit random, you know, I don't want to be. I don't want to be too um, mainstream. I don't want to be the Lannisters or the Starks. I want to try something very peculiar. So that's something to think about for next year as well. Because I enjoyed that. And I, I want to get back into Crusader Kings 2 at some point in the future. So that will be something that I'll do for that. And then we got my first impressions, reviews and previews. So this year I started experimenting a bit more with doing reviews. I used my green screen, which is just over there. Um, on my other channel, which I haven't be really been using, my, my review channel, but <clears throat> I, might, I might try and do some more for that. I don't really know what I'm going to do with it, to be honest, because I, I created the channel to do separate videos, but it wouldn't make sense to send you guys for that channel when you're already on this channel. So it's just there as an extra channel at the moment. If anything ever went wrong with my channel, then obviously I would use that one. So it's nice to know I got a backup channel, but yeah, the reviews, previews, and first impressions videos... They went down a treat. Um, my tutorial video for Shogun 2, funnily enough, is my most watched video to date. It's got 4,300 and something subscribers as of today, because I looked at the video this morning. And that has inspired me to go and try and make more tutorial videos now next year. So next year is going to be big changes. I'm going to I'm gonna do lots of new stuff. I'm not going to go into that in this video, because i got a separate video, which I'm going to do for 2015, which will come after this video. But just bear in mind, you know, lots of good plans that I have in place for next year. Um, and then sub of the year. So I tried sub of the year. I thought it'd be a good way to reward you guys because you guys have been fantastic. You know, you've you've watched lots of my videos, you've commented. I love waking up. I look at my Nexus 7, which is over by here. I'm just going to speed over here. You know, I go on my Nexus 7 by here and I read comments on here all the time about you know stuff like you've you know you've been fantastic I, I enjoyed this video this video helped me out and that sort of thing and that's the to me that's the ultimate thing of what youtube is about it's a big community my channel is starting to become a nice community with nice people like you guys that have that have supported me this year and my way of giving back because i do monetize my videos my way of giving back was to actually all the money that i earned this year through through uh, through monetizing my videos go towards um again so whoever won the subscriber of the year which was guardsman 77 so thank you guardsman um and he actually won the game of thrones telltale games game that's the game that he wanted so i paid the money and i gifted him that game on steam and i'm looking to do more of this sort of thing in 2015 so i'm thinking more giveaways um more um more competitions subscriber of the year that's going to be an annual thing so 2015 december 2015 there will be subscriber of the year again and that's something i'm going to do more and more of in the future and that's pretty much been my channel this year. Telltale Games, I forgot to mention Telltale Games. They've done quite a lot of things this year. I'm just going to pop down the floor with it. Um, I've done Game of Thrones and I've done uh, Tales from the Borderlands. Two great games. Telltale's, you know, it's, it's a game which I enjoy and I enjoy making videos on. And I, I am going to continue that in 2015 when they release the next episodes for both those games. I will be recording those games on my on my channel. And that's pretty much it for the YouTube aspect of this video. So there's been plenty to to ponder over this year but now i'm going to talk a little bit about my personal life because i haven't really talked about it that much this year to be honest with you but basically this time last year i was depressed and you know it, I, I was unemployed i graduated from university i recently finished a job which was a, a temporary contract for three months i just didn't know where i was going to get employment i was depressed i didn't have any money it was it was horrible and basically um i i volunteered for eight weeks in one place i did work experience you know bear in mind i'm 23 years of age and i got a degree but i was doing work experience in another place and it was horrible because you, you feel like a degenerate you feel you feel alone you feel depressed and it's actually you guys that helped me you know i was making videos when i was unemployed and it was you guys that helped you know help you you're part of me 
you know getting past that this year and that's just something i wanted to say in this video because you know it, a lot of people don't really well they don't really understand what you go through if you're not employed if you're not unemployed yourself you don't really understand but yeah you know it's been a fantastic um year on youtube and eventually i did get a job which was in october this year and it's been fantastic so far and it's great because i can now afford to buy things for myself so you know new computers new laptops <laughs> Well, maybe not quite yet, but that's something to look forward to in the future, perhaps. Maybe I'll upgrade Maybe I'll upgrade my computer in the summer or something. But yeah, you know, I got there in the end and I just want to say thank you to you guys. It's been, it's been a hell of a ride and I think that's pretty much the best way that I can end this video. So once again, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for your support this year. I've been Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales. Until next time, goodbye.